My friend took me to visit a massive transmission tower because he knows that I love radios and anything related to radios. And uh, it was really fun. I mean, this is an absolutely massive site. It was just uh, teeming with antennas and the amount of engineering that was behind this. Oh my God, it's simply incredible. I don't know what the round loop antenna thing is, the top right hand side, or that little beacon thing. I guess it's probably a beacon. And there's some cell phone antennas. You can see a little parabolic antenna up there too that seemed to be pointing uh, towards an FM station. Uh, it might be that one. That one's pointed towards like an FM radio station down in the town below. But I don't know for sure. Um, it's possible that it used to relay to this site, but they probably use the internet now to do that. Anyway, wow, look at all those wires running in that conduit there. Holy cow. Oh my god, that would be so much work to to set up. And uh, really cool though. A little messy looking right there, but I'm sure it's all in order. Let's see. And there's the original shelter there. So cool. And there's this really old keypad here. Definitely not being used, but super cool. It's been there for a long time. There's an old generator on the side of the building. Fuel tank. The shelter seems to have seen better days. I'm not sure how much it's still used, the original one. I'm sure it's used for something. There's a dish. The one on the left looks a little bit better. The one on the right, uh, not sure. Cause they're, they're picking up something. Now, I don't know what these things are. There there are these little beacons on poles. They're not like actual uh, like strobe beacons. They're just like some kind of little radio thing or something and uh there's all the different cell phone antennas wow a few different networks there those am antennas might just be one am antenna are really long i don't know what else would have a wavelength that long and that ac is working pretty hard for that shelter there there's some generators. It's good to know that service will continue even in a power outage. Looking at the base of the tower there, it doesn't seem like this was a radiating mast at any point because I don't see any sort of insulator. I mean, it could have been. Um, someone can correct me. I don't know what happened to the wire there. The wire kind of fell down on that fence. But you can see some grounds, some ground wires coming off the antenna. And um, I don't know what the radial system's like, but it's got to have a radial system if it's an AM antenna. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Wow, can you imagine setting setting that antenna up no that would be so interesting the bottom. Um, focus focus and like the tower itself isn't getting a look at the antenna at least as far as I understand. we can see that those am wires are insulated so they're separate from the tower yeah, as far as i can tell look at all those guy wires I think this is a work of art. I mean, look at all the work that went into this. It's incredible. See those little wires on the sides there? Those are antennas. There's a close up of the AM antenna there. I don't know what I was pointing at here. There's a guy wire. I guess that's an insulator. 
at like one, like I think it's one antenna, even though there's at least three of them. But maybe. yeah, if anyone knows if this is a radiating oh, tower, feel free is. to 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 let me know, because I wasn't sure. And there's where the the wires go into the shelter. That has definitely seen some better days. But there's still some stuff coming out of it. I don't know. It's a lot of work. God, those cables have to be heavy, too. Oh, my God. Imagine taking them up there. Setting all those antennas up. People work really hard on this. We were trying to pick There's up so the AM radio right station, here. but it didn't seem like it was even used, actually. It was a very weak signal, so they may have switched it off. And there are some anchors for the guy wires. Massive. Yes, Brent. Here's some of the meters for the various cell phone providers that are using the tower. So that's what a lot of the that's what a lot of the cables are for. That's for the um the, the cell towers up there. Yeah. Not the best yeah, shot into like, the sun there. When there is a little like a, I don't know if it's a Yagi or what you call it, that little antenna know. there. Pretty cool. Little tiny I don't, don't know what that's about. That. It looks rather sad. There was all kinds of little antennas. Little beacon looking things, like Not exactly red. sure what these are for. I don't know. Little if anyone things. knows, feel free to let me know. Let's get one more shot there. And God, like beautiful. Like enough to just kind of shock you, be like, whoa. I'm like, what was that? Hey, what's this near? Oh, thank you. Then he took me to a local FM radio station, which was super cool and had a lot of antennas. I mean, uh, you know, I'd expect just like one or two. They had all kinds of antennas pointed all kinds of ways. <laughs> 